Hi, here we are at Kumano Hongu Grand Shrine, which is the center of the Kumano religion that has spread all over Japan over a thousand years. Now, this is the central and final spot on the pilgrimage route that many would take from Kyoto or from Edo period down to uh, this location here. Now behind me are the key buildings for the Kumano Grand Shrine. Three buildings encapsulating the, at least four of the main uh, 12 gods of the Kumano religion. Uh, the one behind me here is for this location, uh, the Hongu Grand Shrine, and then two of the other main gods are down on the other far side. Now each of the gods enshrined there represent the three Sanzan, or the three main shrines of the Kumano area. People would make the pilgrimage, come down south, and visit each of them in the opportunity to be reborn into uh, a better world. Now, this is not the original location of the shrine. It used to be down by the river, about 500 meters down the, down the hill. And that was called Oyunahara, until about 120 years ago when a major flood washed away most of the buildings. Four main shrines were taken from there and rebuilt up here, behind us here. Now people from all over Japan and all over the world come here to worship and to seek enlightenment and a better life into the future world. Look at the gorgeous vermilion color of the buildings around me. This is Hayatama Shrine, the Kumano Shrine, one of the three grand shrines of the Kumano area. Now after leaving Hongu Shrine, people would take on boats and come on down here to Shingu City to visit the Hayatama Shrine. And uh, what's notable here about the, the gorgeous orange buildings, the symbol, it's a symbol of life, and perhaps because it resembles the color of blood that celebrates this area. Now, the object of worship is up on a mountain called Kamikura, just up the hill. And the, at the top is a, is a rock called Gotobiki Iwa. Gotobiki Iwa is where, uh, according to Japanese mythological legend, the gods descended and visited this area. And once the Akumano faith propagated in this area, the gods were enshrined in this building behind me here. Now, on the grounds is one of the oldest evergreen type trees in the entire country called a nagi tree and if you have one of the leaves of those tree it's uh, it's supposed to symbolize a great uh, importance of unbreakable bond so it's good to use for friendships um, however if you take one from this side it's not allowed uh, hopefully you can find one in the other areas After pilgrims arrived here in the Nachi area, they would climb up what was called the Daimon Zaka, or the Great Gate Hill, and arriving here at Kumano Nachi Grand Shrine, which you can see behind me. It's the third grand shrine of the area, the Kumano worship area. After visiting Hongu and Shingu, Nachi would be the third stop along that pilgrimage trail. Now up until 140 years ago, both Shintoism and Buddhism would be worshiped together. And during the Meiji area, those grand areas were separated. Now behind me is uh, the Nachi Grand Shrine, and beyond it is Seigan Toji Temple, which is the first stop on the 33 Kanon Temple uh, pilgrimages here in the Kansai or Kinki area. And beyond that is the highest waterfalls in Japan. At 133 meters, you have Nachi Falls or Nachitaki, where it is said that a great nature god is enshrined. <laughs> 